My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the authority! <laughs> ha, my, 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 on all things. Yeah. Hey, hey. All things R&B. Let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Acapella's fine. Acapella's okay. It's cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You stand alone, do your thing, flat-footed. You know what I'm saying? Little microphone, no microphone at all. I get it. But there's something about that accompaniment. Mm. Something about when that accompaniment is pristine, when it's when it's right, when Can it's you spell that? when it's custom, huh? Can you spell that? What pristine? A no com- accompaniment. Accompaniment? Nope. <laughs> but it's, two C's. With two C's. Two C's. Yeah, I think when, when it's yeah. tailor made, it's got to be right to, to the to the song and to the we and, like we like then, the, the arrangement. But then to the artist, it's tailor made, and then it's. I don't want to do no more introduction. I just want to get straight to the man himself, Mr. Adam Blackstone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to yeah. sound good? Huh? You want to sound good? You want to sound good? You want to sound good? Huh? Huh? Thank you want to sound good? You want to sound Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah, you got to tap in with BBE. Let That's me tell right. you something. Let me tell you something. Come on now. This this was a, this this is when I knew, or well, yeah, I mean you you've always been special, but when this is when I knew you were special, special. Thank you, man. When I it came is. when I came to the JT concert, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and come on, we're gonna do the initials over here, man. Everybody, know, who who the I'm sorry. fuck is JT? I'm sorry. Man. When I came to the Justin Timberlake concert, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah, got, I knew what you were talking give about. Give you your flowers. Yeah, you no, no, knew. no, no. I'm giving you your flowers. We got to say the, you right, yeah, you right, on, you man. ain't wrong. Give him the shit. When I came to the Justin Timberlake concert, all right, all right. as you were yeah. MDing, overseeing mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the entire musical dichotomy, that, that um, thing, and and I felt like. You gave you gave Justin the moment yeah. that he had probably been searching for mm. for a long time. It's interesting, man. With his music speaks to all of us, of course, right? and always has. Yes, I think it was something about the different swag that I was able to bring from church, from soul music, and then just being a hip hop head. You but know here's what I'm the thing: he's he's a soul singer for sure. Right, he got he, sure. he gets his pop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He does, but, but he, he, he's a so, so. When you went to when y'all went to drink you away, I can't drink you away. That's right, that's right, young fella. Yeah, let me tell it, you something. Took it to that four chord. Let me tell you something. When you <laughs> went to that place and he got to get into it, his bag. I, I felt like he wanted to shout. Yeah, he got in I, his Memphis <laughs> Baptist I, bag. I felt like he went Baptist, yes, he did. Kojic Pentecostal, <laughs> and he wanted to shout. That's right. That was the first, I said, oh my God. Yeah, man, we, um, that was one of them ones where he played that record for me and I, I just heard Tim beatbox. It's, it's country by nature. For sure. Originally, however, however, you throw a B three on that ee- thing, it, it can take you to a whole nother ee- place. Um, and so, yeah, man, we we took it there. And 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 what I love about him specifically is he embraces that side yeah. of who he has around him. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can say it's culture, you mm-hmm. know, whatever sure, we want to say, sure. um, that he might not have experienced the way we have experienced. So when I bring it to him, it feels fresh, it feels new. Mm-hmm. For his listener, even, it feels fresh and feels new. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So um, I'm thankful to him, man. He already know. We actually, you know, not to put a timestamp on it, but he, he showed up at my last um, Sun Rose event nice. and, like, just the fact that he embraces the culture yeah. and like you know gives gives us soul yeah. musicians R and B musicians R and B singers the flowers and it's like Absolutely. you know we Absolutely. appreciate you know yeah. what I mean yeah. yeah ally for sure for sure yeah. for sure I know that was big, my first, first big check hey yeah. first big check you know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> listen Justin listen. Timberlake and yeah. yeah. NSYNC there it is yeah. there it is it's, but like he's I'm one sure. of the ones you know what I mean yeah. and um. There's so many others out there too, but him specifically, man, he he loves to embrace that. So I'm 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 thankful for it because he let me be me. Yeah, no, you know? I was I was I was I think I went, I think I came to like six or seven. You shows. was at, you was there, bro. Yeah, no, I was I was just hanging out with yeah. you. Yeah, Tank was damn near a roadie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was, I, 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 no, 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 no. Anybody need anything? Anybody need? In all of his humbleness, that's how I rock. When he finds something that he rock with, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Tank, where you going? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Twenty twenty. I'm like. 
Like, what, are, what are you doing, yeah. bro? You know, I, no, no, I'm trying to go there. And, and, and can so, I say something? I'm gonna say something real candid too. The homie keeps around that upper echelon, so it pushes him too. Yeah, yeah. So that's a yeah. testament to who you are to R and B. Mm-hmm. A testament to who you are to him as well, because yeah. it's like iron sharpens iron. For sure, you know what I'm for saying? sure. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. You know I, mean? I was looking at that show like. Jesus. Now he's like, yeah, you got to see it. Yeah, you, you have to see it. Yeah, no, it was it was special. It's, I, I'm not a concert special. guy. Yeah, but like, this was I, an experience. No, no, I, no. I came. I came yeah. to LA. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm just not. I'm not the guy that's no, just I going to a whole bunch yeah. of concerts. It's just never been my thing. Right. Because um, I think for me, I like to hear it the way it was on the album. So sometimes if they can't, if they don't recreate that for me, yeah, I get mad. Come to an Adam Blackstone event. <laughs> he said, he said, I get mad. <laughs> Third person. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. I pride myself on making the live experience better than the album. Right. And that's hard to do. No, yeah. I'm, I'm not really at hard. all saying that yeah. that's just what I do and it's that. No, no, no. Especially because those 10,000, 12,000, 15,000 people in there are there because they like the record. They like the record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I can give somebody a moment to hear when we or slow in a different way where they're like that, Makes me want to go and listen to the record even more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's what that's yeah. that's 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 what I pride myself on. So it's a fine line. It's a, of, it's it's a, a fine line it's between balance. giving people what they're absolutely familiar with. Yeah, and then taking them taking on them this, on a ride. Just uh, elevating gotta them. take yeah. them on a ride. Yeah, Just because the there's a thing I like to tap into too, and we can talk about this crazy. But where was your mindset as an artist? making this record mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. a lot of talented singers and musicians and producers specifically have to bring themselves back mm-hmm. to make a record that's audible for the listener yeah. where it's not too too crazy yeah, yeah. but you might want to go there yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? i see you sitting you know when we i was just saying sitting at the piano in the house and all that it's like you can go there but when you just laying it for an eight bar yeah phrase we got to kind of think about what that is so my opinion whether it's me tapping in with janet me tapping in with Ree, me tapping in with Drake. It's like, like where was wow, you when wow. you making the record really? in your head? He just yeah. poured wow. full champagne. That's a, wow. He just poured Can full we drink champagne. To that? that was Ace of Spades. Man, listen, wasn't, if you would it wasn't like no, to, brother. <laughs> it wasn't no. <laughs> Shit. I ain't do that on purpose. It that wasn't was, no regular shit. That was right? actually like, real. Like I was a real movie. Too. All nicknames. Ree. Yeah, Ree. Ree. Uh, Chad, at, you know, yeah, not the yeah, whole name. Yeah. <laughs> not if you're nasty. Not Miss Not if Miss Jackson. Because he know her. Yeah, that's the homie. You know what I mean? Bro, let's, you know. Let's go back to the beginning. Yes. Let's go back to where all of this started. Absolutely. Trent, you know what I'm saying? Born in Jersey. Yeah. You know, my, my player partner from Trent too, man, Dante who, Jones. That's one of our listen, best friends, Listen, let me friends, tell you, Ham, Hamilton, uh, um, we just was talking about him, man. New Jersey basketball legend. Yeah. Like straight up. All right, like, we ain't going to say all that shit on here because then they're going to be seeing crazy. me. Like, oh, it, it, give, him, give him a flower, right, Jay. Man, fuck it, man. You got your little it, punk it, ass it, That's oh my, my He got God. the championship. <laughs> he got that. Sh- shout out to my guy. Brought See, me the championship bottle oh, of champagne. Oh, See, so it's, it's a little more personal, though, because yeah. this is one of my best friends in the world. Word. Literally. But mm-hmm. his championship came against my hometown Golden State Warriors. Oh, yeah. And he played a part. He played a major part. They put in his that. ass in the game and yes, he started doing dirty shit and fucking people up. That's his and role. Grabbing extra at that moment, that was his and role. And I'm cussing at the TV. At but my that's friend. your man. He's my friend. <laughs> he cussing at the TV. Guess who's sitting right beside him smiling? <laughs> yeah, that, that, he, he, that he came in me. and he did that. So he New Jersey <laughs> legend. Yeah, yeah, man. Nah, you, you deserve it. Yeah, New Jersey like, basketball right, legend. I'm trying to see the Clippers tonight. Like you might need to make that call for me, right? He coaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Um, I got you. All right, cool. Yeah, and so born in Jersey, my family, my my father, church organist, and what you would deem now today as like a one man band, like um, wedding band guy. We, we didn't call it that, you know, back mm-hmm. in the '80s, '90s. But like, you know, as I look back and even talk about it a lot, he was the first musical director that I seen. Because when you in that in that wedding band scene. You hit 100 BPMs and you just you just electric slide, mm-hmm. you cha cha slide, you you doing all the songs that just you know get the people going. So it's like I saw him curate set lists like in his head all the time and just moving based off of what the people were doing. Um, as a, at an early early age, when I moved to Philadelphia in 99 2000 for college, that changed my life culturally because I had never seen 
um, the impact of soul music in the culture of a city. Mm -hmm. Like a song means so much to a, the, a surrounding area. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then in turn, the song, whoever sang that song, those people are held to a higher echelon in that area too. So I um, met the Roots crew in Philly, and mm -hmm. then it, you know, my life So how do you change, just run you know? into the Roots? Well, no, so I was the guy, you know, just playing everywhere. Clubs, so sessions. bar mitzvahs. Sessions, mm -hmm. jazz club. I was doing everything. I was in college too, so I was like, you know, who gonna give me thirty five dollars? Who gonna give me the fifty dollars? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pulling talk. I'm, I'm pulling up church, different churches, all of that, and so ran into. What, what were you making at church? We know because we talk about what Tank made at church. We, we, we still trying to figure out was Tank being. Gym. It depends. If I played with my dad, I made twenty five dollars. Rough, you rough. With your daddy? Yeah. Was, yeah if I if I, I played like, the drums, I'm like, just take this, take this, this and be cool. So, so so what was your main instrument? In church was drums. Church of drums. Yeah, okay. because mm -hmm. we didn't have a bass player. You you know, gotcha. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, a, if you if you player? had a bass player, you had a budget. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you had a bass player, you had a budget. No, for sure, it was organ, piano, drums. drums. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. If your left foot or so your the left bass hand was like wasn't... a floss. That's a floss. Oh yeah, if you if you went to a church with a bass player, you like a oh, bass player and a guitar player. Oh uh -huh. no, that ain't. I... You you a mega church. Yeah, you a mega. You a mega church. Wow, you got over eleven hundred members. Yeah. <laughs> you got at least two services. Yeah, you got two services. Yeah, so um, I played drums at church all my life. And, you know, my uncle played drums at a different church. And then all my, you know, role music role models in Jersey played drums. And so just to take a step back, when we moved uh, to a different town, uh, older white gentleman band director at my school said, listen, candidly, he said, all the black kids want to play drums. I know your family. We have a void in the school for a bass player. This is Se white man said that. Second when grade. When is this? For sure, second grade. <laughs> for sure, you're Mr. in second grade. Mr. Matlack. He, can, I'll never he couldn't say it. that in this day. He can't say that in 2020. Yeah. He said all the kids, but I knew what <laughs> right, he meant. Right. Like mm -hmm. I went to you know urban. I was in a primarily permanent. No, I was in a black community. Black. So mm -hmm. all the kids want to play drums. He's right. Mm -hmm. I know your family. I heard about y'all. You know your dad's a musician. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we don't have a bass player. I was like, hell no. I'm not carrying. This one used to walk to school. Oh, you had to carry Y'all remember that. Who what? don't remember that? We used to walk to school. So yeah. he had me this instrument that long right there <laughs> in a case. I said, I'm not walking to school with that. I want the sticks. I'm bringing my sticks. Right. Best decision I ever made. Second and this grade. Was second grade. Wow. Second grade. Never forget. And, um, Started playing a little Stand By Me, doom, 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 doom. like learn now, okay, then I'm learning, you know, bills, 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 and, uh, you know, uh, beat me 911. Mm -mm. So this dude is in the second grade when Bills, Bills, Bills is out. Wait, wait, we just this, going, we going this kind of be in the second grade when Bills, 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 come on, no, man. No, 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 not Bills. I mean, Golly, you know, the, the bro, Timber, you know, the Timber and Magoo <laughs> vibes, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. You know, um, um, and then as we, you know, that's a that spanned some years, but I was like, okay, I, I can get into yeah. this, and it made me different. It did. Like everybody wanted to do that thing on the drums or that thing on whatever, you know, to be the only guy playing bass. I I took pride in that, and yeah. I was like, I want to be great, and um, you know, that set my journey off to go to University of the Arts in Philadelphia, and I moved to Philly in two thousand. Was doing all the gigs around town. Any on base. On base. Gotcha. Any and everything. You playing upright or you you playing? So at that time, now I'm playing both because I also realized when I saw the bass players as I got older at church, a lot of them didn't read music, mm -hmm. and I didn't have the skill set as good as them at that moment. So how could I differentiate myself? Right. So I really started like really honing in on the ink and like really reading so you can music. Read. Yeah, so that that's I'm going to say, ironically enough, it's fifty fifty now my gigs today because that's why I'm able to do movie scores. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm able to write the charts out for Soul Train Awards, horned players, or I'm doing the I just did the Oscars. 
I had to score for a 60 piece orchestra. Like I wouldn't be able to do that without learning how to read music at wow. all. Yeah, this, is, this, is, yeah. this whole episode is going to be flawed. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's no, it, no, it's no. It's not a flaw. It's just I'm, so no, no, no. Accept it. This is your flowers. Yeah. 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 Accept it. I so want to encourage fact. the young musician. But first, you have to accept I'm it that you did it at the Oscars. Accept that you're doing 60 pieces. Accept that you're doing cool shit. Accept it, my brother. Come on, cool shit. All right. Yeah, sixty piece at the Oscars. Listen, I want to. You gotta be able to read music. You, uh, I, I can't. No, but no. But you I have mean, to listen, be able to. I want to encourage every musician out there. It's never too late, yo. Mm -hmm. it, it sets a, it sets us apart from the the ceiling that you have. That's all. Not that you're gonna play right. any better. Right. Or sing that, any better. Job, though. but there's more you can but do. But it's just more that I, you I can watch, do. You know, I would watch. Um, I would watch Tim Carmen. Yes. Mm, Tim Carmen. Mm -hmm. I will watch Tim Carmen come Special. in. Special. And he's 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 a he's a rare one because, mm -hmm. you know, he with, got the feel with, in with, the... with piano it's tough mm -hmm. yeah. to be to be gifted and studied. Yeah. And be able to live in both, both worlds. worlds. For sure. Like he's very much he can very much do Eric Clapton mm -hmm. and then go to uh, evangelistic church yeah, of, yeah, of the children. Yeah, Edwin yeah. Hawkins. Yeah. Ed, easy. I mean, when I say easy, right. yeah. it, and everybody in both areas be like, oh my. Right. God. And then and then go play with Kendrick or Future or what? Yeah. It, you do whatever. Yeah, and, like, out. Yeah. I, and, and, I, and, and what made me really, I mean, I've known him from the house, you know what I'm saying? But when we were doing that Dream Girl soundtrack, yeah. he would just, they would just throw that sheet in front of That's him. It. That's and it. And he would just get active. Mm hmm. And I'm like, and so what? that was a big part of my evolution as a college bass player because I was playing jazz, mm -hmm. um, got a jazz scholarship. But then my walk and bass line felt like I was playing shout music. Mm. So they was like, "What is that? that? Ain't really what we normally used to." But he moving in and out them changes like something is different. Yeah, yeah. To me, that was normal. I'm gonna be completely honest. Not to like. From no. learning from your father, or learning from my dad, just learning, ble learning from the culture. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, okay, I see B flat major seven. I know what those notes are, and I know I'm going to G. And I'm like, okay, then I'm gonna go to E flat. I'm like, oh, that's all oh, that is, is victory is mine. <laughs> victory. Real talk, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's, my, it's somebody yeah. playing a head over right. uh, a, a jazz head over top of it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna move in and out of this different. And they like, yo, like. So then that uh, propelled me within the structure of my school. Mm -hmm. Like, he just played different. Like, it's right, but it's like, it ain't nothing we really heard specifically from an adolescent. Not that bass players weren't doing that, but yeah. like at my age and where I was at school. Um, so reading music has helped me do continuously today, helped me do so, so much. I'm able to juggle three, four, five gigs because I can write it down and then forget and it. Forget it. Yeah. And forget it. And get right back to it. Forget it. Yeah. I don't have to internalize. When you're learning a song, it takes a different type of brain power to be like, when I play it again, I have to remember what I just did. When that ink is on the paper and it's telling you C to F, it's like, okay, I know how to muscle memory read through them changes. And then boom, Tank J Valentine segment is over. I got to get to this Mars Day segment. Boom, let me turn the page. Boom, 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 boom. boom. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, boom. Huh. Morris Day is over. Boom. Let me go do. So you, so you wrote out slow for sure, string parts and everything. Yeah, be. I mean, you know, like for the, you know, when Neely came and did the John, and it's like yeah. we're gonna embellish and all of that. You, I gotta write it for the band. When you send me the arrangement, you know what I mean. I'm like, this is what it is. This is how we embellish it. Put the horns on top of it. All that. It's it's. Because we moving so fast, yo. I'm saying, you approve of this? Cool. Boop, 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 boop. Then next. You know what I'm saying? Next thing. That's crazy. You know what I mean? We got to. I would love to see the yeah, we sheet see music. I, I should have brought yeah. it. For, 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 for the performance. You got to have it and yeah. put it up on something. Because, yeah. right, bro, the conversation yeah. around all of that. Y'all smashed. Is nuts. Y'all smashed that joint. Thank you. Y'all smashed that joint. Some, some of my favorite you know, R and B moments have been. We had some good. With hey, this guy on television. Listen, your 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 when we <laughs> that when oh, yeah, we that is was crazy. is still is yeah. still in show. Yeah. Top ten. Yeah. No, it's still in show. Yeah, yeah. It's that. That's one of them ones. 
I that can't you're going to have to do. Yeah, you're going to have to do that for the rest of your life. You come to my show right now, <laughs> and you will hear, you will hear your chops. Yeah, you got to yeah. do that for the rest is- of your life. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I had to- T, 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 shout out, shout out Terrence Vaughn, even on yeah. that program, man, just crazy. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, even, no, I think amazing. Cornish uh, helped with, with, um, with um, Slow. And shout out my girl Nicole on, mm-hmm. on the string arrangements yeah. as well. Yeah. But um, I as to, we bring it together. I had to trust y'all on that. Hmm? I had to trust y'all on that. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. even, even, it's a movie. When Tank sent it to me. Because, like I said, I'm very much the album guy. The album guy. But, very much. Let me be transparent. We was in about sketch five before we liked where yeah, we Yeah, because I had to, because because it was like, I was like, we we need the song. Yeah. For sure. But it needs moments. But it just needs moments. Yeah. Right? And it needs something over top, floating over top of it yeah. to make it, to make it the experience that you know no one's ever no one's ever had before sure. with the song but yeah. then we got to get to a place like so when those last eight bars like it i called I, I hit i said no i want this and yeah. I, I played it i said this is what i want yeah we have to go somewhere okay so, so crazy. stop when he say this is what i want he <laughs> makes a video <laughs> <laughs> am i am i telling the truth <laughs> He makes a video of him at the piano and saying this. Right. Whatever the instrumentation is, bass, keys, guitar, yes. horn, yeah. string, this is what I want. Yes. I love that yeah. about you and other artists where it's yeah. just like, it's let me translate what you want yeah. in the best way structurally possible for our band. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's no guessing with yeah. that. It's like, no, just like my job is to make it better. To make yes. it better. Yeah. Do your idea. And I think that was my that was my issue in the beginning for yeah. me. But y'all, y'all because I'm not I don't play. Yeah. So I don't have the two talented moments. Yeah. <laughs> y'all niggas get too talented. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just it's just reality. There were moments, you know, that I had to you learn know, about that. Though, too, I, you know, know, back. You just y'all get too talented <clears throat> because you're getting your shit off. Yeah. I only got so much shit. This is how I look at it. Yeah, you but it's I mean? a way to get it off and for the people to be like, I'm getting off too by hearing that. Right. So he yeah, sends you know me what I'm he sends me the MP3. Yeah. And I'm like, this nigga didn't turn slow into a Disney song. <laughs> oh, my this God. is the first thing I say. <laughs> That's the first I'm thing like, he said. Disney. I said, I said, Chase. I said, man, we fucking the Disney. <laughs> oh, man, my God, bro. shit. These niggas gonna boo me. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I ain't been on stage. This nigga got me out here singing a Disney song. This nigga's trying to ruin me before I get back but, started. But the way I the way I structured it is I made sure that he could he could <laughs> he could just stay where he was. Yeah, navigate right, right, right. And that everything thing. would dance around him. So yeah. here's the other thing. Yeah. Just about television in general. We can mm-hmm. talk about this a whole nother day. Yeah. When we are creating those musical moments, mm-hmm. there's a visual that has to match. Yes. Agreed. This man, I hate to say it like this, I hope I don't get in trouble, has been a part of some amazing men to women visual moments. That's a good way to say it. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's a good way to say it. I had to be safe yeah, yeah, with that yeah. one. He introduced us to some people we ain't, we ain't know before. I'm, I'm Joey. <laughs> and some 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 moments with these strings where it's like yes they're playing this thing but it's erotic and mm-hmm. it's sexy and we push we push the envelope hey dog we had a stripper behind us man it is what it is I, I just she's a, she's a, she's a she's you know what pole dancer. is that is that that's like I said a wrong term yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you gotta be politically correct these yeah, days, it's my motherfucking show I but gotta it's, be it's two different thing. things yeah. Yeah, the, the, she did pole work and she's a Pole dancer. Yeah, it's almost it's like a profession. A, a pole arena. They're all professionals. No, no, no. <laughs> I respect it. No. So is that like a singer and a singer? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a she's a she's a pole. She's, she's no, I respect it though. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I respect it. Not a stripper. Just... I, what I'm okay, saying is, so, so I'm gonna go back. <laughs> we're gonna reel it in. I'm going back to say when we're creating those moments, whether that be for y'all or whether that be for any artist, it's like there's also for television, there's a visual thing mm-hmm. that goes with it too. Yeah. So those accents and those hits yeah. that he was yeah. hearing in his head or that I might put an a impact on or something mm-hmm. like that, we know them lights is going to go crazy yeah. on you. Yeah. We know that. Da- <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. Yep. Show me what yep. you do with that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, we know the pole dance is gonna drop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you that part. You're not gonna be that part. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. So it's like you know what I mean. So 100%. that that because I'm I'm like I'm looking at it as I'm a movie. I'm looking at it. Yeah. So I'm I'm seeing the movie play out of my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, because I'm seeing. I see the set. I see the lights. I ain't see none of that shit. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> <nah>. <laughs> I'm like you getting this TV thing, and I know it's you. Yeah. So I'm like I'm like once it gets to him. Yeah, it's gonna really nah, get. It's gonna, gonna yeah, really get aggressive. Like, go, go, you know what I'm saying? We go and, hard. and and we and I'm like, I I I, I, I see it yeah. all clear as day. No, it was there, right? It and, was it was, there. and it was and it was Okay, Execute. so let's go back. Let's 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 dial back. Okay, so you art school, you can yep. read. You you hitting the streets of Philly. You going yeah. crazy. Met met, met the, the roots. roots. Yep. And quest, and, and what? How how and what was that? Uh, open mic night at a spot called the Five Spot. We used to go to in Philly, and at that point. Neo Soul was Going booming. Crazy. Going yes. crazy. I just so happened to be in the mecca, what I consider, you Absolutely. know, the no, mecca of that. what it was yeah. at that moment. It's not even a question. So yeah. through that building, the five spot, you could have anyone from Jill Scott to Bilal to Music Soul Child to Erica Badu to Indy Ari to Eric Benet to, you know, Aries. I don't know if y'all remember them. Mm-hmm. Aries, Vivian yeah, Green. Yeah. Green. It was just it was just super crazy in Philly. Dre and Vidal yeah. and Carvin and Ivan and DJ Jazzy Jeff and Touch of Jazz. That would make it had, the Mecca. That's the Mecca. Had, <laughs> yeah, that would make it the yo, Mecca. Yeah, they just had the city Shit. on smash, man. And yeah. so we were playing, you know, those songs nightly and, and, and the peers of those people, even though I named some of the more famous ones, but right. it was another 25 of, of those, yeah, yeah, yeah. you of know, killers. Yeah, yeah. for yeah, sure. Kill, Jazzy yeah. Fat Nasties, River, um, you know, just 14 year old Jasmine Sullivan. Wow. You know what I mean? It, it just was crazy, wow. man. And so it was a night curated by Rich Nichols, rest in peace, uh, who was the manager of The Roots at the time. Mm-hmm. Sean G, who we know now is mm-hmm. the president of, of Live Nation, Our Urban, mm-hmm. and um, Amir Quest Love and Black Thought. And so um, the crew was called the OK Player crew. And so um, they used to go on the road and do these hubs of touring shows. They asked me to go as a young, you know, adolescent kid, but it was you know, for the local, I don't want to say local, but like it was the underground. Yeah, for sure. Full underground, yeah. like real talk. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Jay-Z then decides he wants to do exactly. Unplugged. Yeah, and hired the Roots. And hired the yeah, Roots. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I actually didn't, on? so I didn't play Unplugged, but so what happened was the Root, I wasn't a Root, but the Roots, the band, mm-hmm. did unplug, And Jay said, that was so good. <clears throat> Let's take it on tour, and I'm going to do Madison Square Garden. We're going to call it mm, Fade to Black. It's going to be my last album, he said. 20, 20, 2003. Yeah. yeah. It's my last album. It's the last yeah. album. It's an encore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was my first big gig. You go on the road. J with, with Jay-Z. Jay-Z. That's wow. what I was saying. And what are you, 19, so, 20 years old at the time? 03, that's 20 years ago. So I was, I was, I was 20. Wow. Yeah, I was 20 years old. My first big gig. That's amazing. And so I tell this story that sounds like a huge flex, but this is how God works. Yeah. Real talk. I go into a rehearsal with Jay-Z. I'm, I'm a fan. Sad, because it's the last Jay-Z album. Mm-hmm. You believe him. Heck yeah. <laughs> I believe him too. Yeah. Much. Listen, I'm from the Bay. Too short. He retired 40,000 <laughs> times. Oh, so this is the last album on album yeah, 12. Nah, he got like, album you know, because it was a big, big deal that Reasonable Doubt was supposed to be one and done. Mm-hmm. You know right, right. Saying? Like that was a that was a thing. Like, you know, in the in the hood of Brooklyn, from what I understand. So the story goes, and I'm 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 timeline paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Walk into rehearsal with Jay. We do this. I meet through rehearsal process. I meet this guy, um, just kind of around producer, pink polo shirt. You know, he says, "Yo, <laughs> when this is over, you should come rock with me." You know, I got some stuff popping. I got my, you know, I'm putting my album out myself. You know, Dame gonna help me. You know, I was like, "Oh yeah," you know. I got you. You know, let's let's connect after this is over. Kanye West, mm-hmm. right? I go on tour with Kanye. We do this thing called the Glow in the Dark tour, which arguably is one of the top five yeah. shows. Yeah, I don't mind saying ever. Right. He had a spaceship mm-hmm. on the stage. It didn't work I, at first, right? Like it was like issues with the like. 
It was a whole thing with that, major right? Major issues. But <laughs> his vision was his vision. Right. He wanted the alien. He wanted a spaceship. He wanted to ban in a pit like it was Broadway. It was this thing. That was my job to curate that. Through working with Kanye, I met this girl from Barbados. She kind of opened it for us here and there. And it's like, Jay is like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm going to sign this new artist, whatever. We're going to cut her hair. She real cute, whatever, whatever. They come out with Umbrella, right? Mm -hmm. So it's Re. So it's like I end up working with Re after Kanye because she's opening with us. You know, through Re, I met this amazing light-skinned Canadian boy who like rap sing. I had never heard anything like it at the time. And yeah. I'm just like, he like, yo, you know, after you done with Ray, like come rock with me. You know, I got some stuff. It's crazy. Ends up being Drake. You know what I mean? Through Drake, we got this kid from North Carolina on the tour with us opening. Had no idea who he was. We just would watch him nightly. He just rapped so good. Named J. Cole. Right? So then that's the case. And then I meet Jermaine Dupri at the at the Drake show. He says, at the time, he's like, my girlfriend's going on tour. Like, he, need, he needs, <laughs> yeah, she needs girl, an MD. And I was like, oh, yeah, call me. You know what I mean? I'm a huge fan of JD. So, so Def has been influential in my R&B path. Janet Jackson is his girl. So they called me on three ways. Like, yeah, we went to see the Drake show and the Kanye show, and it's cool. And um, when I started working with Janet, she had the same manager as my good brother, Justin Timberlake. So he said, yo, when Janet's done, I want you to meet my other client at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's just the way God works, man. And it's like, I've done hundreds of things in between all of that, but I I, I, I say that through line to inspire. So did you work on that infamous Super Bowl? I did not work on that early Super Bowl. I did not. I did not. I did not. I had to ask you. No, nah, I did not. I did not. <laughs> but I, I say that through line to inspire because I, I speak about you know, relationships mm -hmm. and how the relationship equity mm -hmm. is sometimes more than any monetary value that I could ever deposit to myself. Right, yeah. Sure. Um, I don't mind saying I could call y'all, y'all gonna pull up for me, yeah. we gonna sing a song and we gonna kill it. But you know that I protect y'all as an artist, you yeah. know, I protect the integrity of the music mm -hmm. and I've been able to do that for my 20 year career so that when I do make an album like my album Legacy, and I call Queen Latifah, or I call Kurt Franklin, or I call Mary Mary, or Leslie Odom Jr. They like, yo, whatever you need. You've sewn into me so much that I want to give this back to you because I can't afford their yeah. performance Very fee expensive. or whatever. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, we we if we talking numbers, I'm just, being, I'm just being honest. Yeah. It's a different type of currency. So I've always tried to be a nice person i know that sounds so simple but there's a lot of unnice niggas out there i well, know for sure in and, our world for sure man. yeah and so i've always tried to have integrity and respect for the music uh not do too much you know for somebody who likes just the album do enough for somebody that's going to get that special kick out of it yeah. and then also at the same time make an impact for the consumer so that the artist is like i want those people to feel that way again yeah. who did that right about mm -hmm. my music, yeah. yeah my yeah. career has been who did that, yeah, straight up. And I, I ain't never even said that out of my mouth before, but it's like, who did that? Who did Ye? Who did that? Who did Janet? Yeah. Who did that? Who did Justin? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's my resume. Yeah. That's how I get the no, your next name job. You. Yeah. For and sure. so yeah, and so I'm, I'm really thankful about that. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, my name is in rooms that I don't even know sometimes, based off of being good work. Not based off of any, and being a great person, but and trying to be a great person always. But it, well, I think being a great person is like the icing on the cake, right? Because you know, in in our in our world, you know what I mean. People will people will accept true <clears throat> if you what, do good work, whatever comes along with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People work ain't good to no the work ain't good. <laughs> to no the work ain't good. Right? Yeah, that's the so truth. people will accept a gang of foolishness and bullshit mm -hmm. until if the work is yeah, good. Yeah, but there's yeah. there's an extra measure um of, integrity man of of what do you say um of longevity mm -hmm. that goes with yeah being, being a good person that's it man that's it and sure. then you know surrounding i've realized that my a lot of my favorite artists have longevity because they good people yeah mm -hmm. so if i'm looking at how to sustain i look at verdine white i look at philip bailey i look at wow. jimmy and yeah. terry yeah wow yeah 
great human not beings. that i not that i know they ain't got no enemies like you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and i'm right. saying that i know yeah. but i mean like my relationship and seeing their relationships with people i'm sure they didn't knock somebody bra back in the day when they was oh know, my god back in minnesota it was verdeen oh verdeen <laughs> yeah yeah we had that lord when jesus you have the lord yeah. jesus yeah. 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 yeah lord jesus and type yeah. Yeah. come on now yeah, yeah, and yeah. the base it's yeah. a nigga somewhere that don't and like verdeen and, and a part look at listen <laughs> listen <laughs> Yeah, lips you way mad, before lips. Yeah, you, you mad at Earth, Wind, and Fire? You let can't her, be mad at this. You can't be mad at this. Yeah, you can't you be mad. You gotta let her get that off. <laughs> yeah, that's Verdi. Ah, that's she Verdi. She yeah. went somewhere with Verdi. Legacy. Like, you can't that's give legacy. A woman certain passes. But I, <laughs> what you're saying is absolutely <laughs> right, though. Yeah, it's absolutely right, man. It, so it's been cool being a good man. person. Yeah, it's been really cool to see the evolution and then now you know the young kids. It's funny I'm calling them kids, but it's like we the OGs now, right? Yeah. They taking what I've done and just like it's scary the limitless potential that they have musically. Mm-hmm. Now what I'm trying to do is teach them how to be people persons, right? Because a lot of that is that too. When you yeah. get on the phone with Jay or you get on the phone with a tank, it's like how do you convey your idea without it sounding like you're being forceful, without it sounding like you don't know really what you're talking about and it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And it's fluff, but like. Stand in what you know, stand in your your gift, but but convey it polite. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like a lot. You know, I think I, I'm gonna be completely honest. I I sound old, but I think social media has, you know, really ruined the one on one relationship contact from artist to worker or mm-hmm. coworker or you know what I mean producer. You know, people sending beats and all of that. It's like when you get in the room. Some of that special magic from back in the day, the nineties and all that, it was in there. In the room. In the room, yo. In the room. I yeah. Jimmy Jam was yeah. in the in room. The room. Or you could just hear With it on the stu- the, Like you'd be walking. Imagine walking I I not even imagine, y'all know it. Walking through record plant. Yeah. And somebody purposely is leaving their door open. So you can hear purposely what's leaving going that on. door open. So you, so you can like, walk in. Hey or well, even the collaboration like, process, right? It's like, you know, all the musicians that I know that played on the Timbaland records. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, you know, my one of my great great friends, Thaddeus Trebet, it's like he played bass on Crime and River and then Ty Tribbett sang on Crime and River. And I know that one of the reasons that happened is being in, in the, the room. room. Been in you the know room. what I'm saying? He ain't write that and say, There's a choir part that I wanna you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yo, that's like, you know what would be crazy? It would be crazy. If yeah. You. Yes. Yeah. There it is. It's magic. Yeah. Magic. It's magic like that. And that that is one of the things that I think we miss because even verbalizing as a producer that just sent might send a beat or something, what you think will enhance the record, you know what I mean, without being in the room. You know? So What do you what which <clears throat> gig do you feel like I mean, shoot, it was a really a, a crazy domino effect. Yeah. Um which gig do you feel like you really, really got to flex on? Like really got to go crazy, like in terms of just Yeah, I think it was that 2020. And that that seemingly is newish. It's ten mm-hmm. years old now. So mm-hmm. maybe it's okay. Twenty thirteen, I met JT Christmas. Ten years today. Twenty twenty is Yeah, I met J- Justin. That's yeah. crazy. Um, and then we did Legends of the Summer after that, which was mm-hmm. Jay Z and J- and Justin together, which was mm-hmm. crazy. I think I flexed on that. Like I think that was one of the times where where I was able to be in front of white and black audience mm-hmm. simultaneously, and that's tough. And they both sets of cultures, ages, Everything. genders yeah. were like, this is crazy. Yeah, because you always can't make everybody. I, you can't make everybody happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I, somebody's gonna feel some of my best work that I personally think is my best work. Some people don't like it. Subjective. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was one of the first moments, Legends of the Summer, with Jay Z and Justin, where it was like, you got it the, off. I, we yeah. got it off for yeah. every for everybody. For everybody. The hood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lawyers. <laughs> the lawyers. The doctors. Yeah, yeah. You know, at that time, NSYNC fans were 35 yeah. plus. Jay fans range any age, and then like Justin was coming out with a joint suit and tie, and it it was like, you know, then they was doing Holy Grail, it was just like this yeah, trap y'all, thing. Y'all it, we a lot. got off, bro. Yeah, y'all and then a lot. I did Sinatra in the in the middle of the show. He did New York, New York, going into New York Jay Z record. 
You know what I'm saying? So it was like I, I was didn't able. See that tour? That's what y'all did. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I gotta send that to you, bro. Jay Z, Justin is called Legends of the Summer. It, I, I, it's top five, easy for me, easy. Cause I got it. I got it all off. I got to get my hip hop rocks off. Mm-hmm. I love pop music. People know that. I got to get that. I got to get that off. I got to get the soul thing off. It was everything. It was all inclusive. Right. Um, so that's that's the one I think that you know for me was was it ten years ago. But even before that, um, you know, Kanye going to dark really established my MD career and that. I knew leaving that tour, I could do anything. Really? And being a musical director is 51% non-musical. For sure. Dealing with personalities, you know, who we talking about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's, it was a lot for me. Um, and and um, dealing with ever-changing sonic palette he he went from this college oh, dropout sure. yeah, to yeah. we ending the show on stronger you know daft punk but then he went through a phase during there unfortunately right i was there the day his mom passed and he was going through some relationship things so he went love lockdown with it so then i'm like we're importing these taiko drums from like taiwan is like doom 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 yeah. i'm not loving you mm-hmm. so it's like we going from like a range of emotions. It's just a whole range of, of psychedelic stuff, all being very transparent through it, through the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so I ended that tour. We done did three albums now. We done did Graduation, 808s, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, his first record, which you know we intertwined in there. So it was like... It was crazy, man. Like, I left that tour knowing that I can do anything. Funny story, you know, we walk into the stage. We didn't sound check once we was on tour for a while. But he says, yo, Adam, I don't want to do the second verse tonight to the champion. And it's like five, four, three, two. And I'm like, wait, what did you say? <laughs> so I run over to the Pro Tools. I just was telling this story. And I run over to the Pro Tools. The show is starting. I'm like... You have to edit with your eyes now. I'm like, okay. Yes, I did. Because I'm running back, running back to the grid. Just to show you something. I don't know how I, I'm like, okay. Eight bars. I'm highlighting, right? The, the show is starting on the other computer. Wow. I, I delete those eight bars. Put it together. Jump back on my stage. I said, Ben, we taking the second verse out. Whatever it was. Eight bars, 16 bars, yeah. whatever it is, right? And then I just had to trust it. I had to trust it. So, you know, I, that's why I say is. A lot of it is non-musical. It's like you got to trust yourself because yeah. they trust you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't got too many mess ups, but that was a heart. That was a... Did you get through that one? I got, or, oh, yeah. I got through you didn't that. didn't crash. I got through that. We was good. That's dope. We but good. also it's like too... I'm, like stu- as, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really a student of the music too. Right. So it's yeah. like if I did know... I know I can right. look at that file and be like, yeah. here's the verse. Right. Yeah. You know But what it's saying? also too like your... Uh, the people who you empower... Your delegation process for sure. Is, I'm only as strong as my on, team. It's got to be on point. It's got to be on point. Only as, well. as strong as my team. Uh, MD is only as strong yeah. as a team because you can try to do everything, but it don't work like that. Especially if I got to go to choreography rehearsal, mm-hmm. I got to go to strings rehearsal, mm-hmm. I got to go to horn rehearsal. I, like I have to know that each department has their own self sufficiency, mm-hmm. um, and that comes from me hiring them for sure. But at the same time, it's like I got to really figure out, uh, I had to figure out like who I just trust to say, this is the edit, go ahead and do it when I see you when I get back. And one of your guys, we talk about you all the time, Danny Chang. My guy. Uh, listen. Our guy. That's our guy. <laughs> right there. Our guy. One of the best in the world. One of the coldest. I, I could text him right now and say, take the second verse out of this. We're going to go this. The pre-hook going to be four bars, and then I need you, you know to fade out. mad at you for calling him Chang, too, though. You know, it's Chong. Yeah. I think it's Chong. I'm sorry. I love you, Dan. My grandmother's maiden name is Chang. All right. That's Me and him always had that yeah. thing with each other. <laughs> Danny going to get mad at you. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny, I love you. <laughs> Danny, I love you. We love you. Danny's we talk about awesome. you all the no, time, amazing. man. And how, amazing how, guy. Yeah, and how, amazing person. And, and how you um, template, you know, tune, BGV bus, like, 
I'm like, yo, give me that tank, bro. Stop playing. <laughs> I need tank. that. I need that. That's what I want. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? He he got it. And he's 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 transcended a lot of people's music based off of how y'all, you know, I wasn't even around when y'all was working like mm-hmm. that or still working or whatever, but um he's been able to infiltrate his sound and R and B specifically. Like oh, straight sure. up. For like, sure. You know a Danny mix, yo. Vote I mean, by the vocals. I remember last time I called, I was like, man, I need you. He said, Yeah, I'm just gonna Man, okay, let me let me let me check and see what I can do, man. I'm about to do this Eminem thing, and then I'm yeah. like, <laughs> so you know what? Don't and call me I'm, back. And then I'm yeah. flying to Mars with Elon Musk. <laughs> don't call me back. Yeah, just yeah. just just keep doing your thing. Man. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> but he don't lo- call me yo, back. But listen, that goes back to saying he loved the music, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He lo- he he talks about Tank and R and B and Mary and all the mm-hmm. Mary records he's oh, done. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk about Neo records he's done. Like he loves R and B music, yo. Like straight no, up, he's been locked in. Yeah, he's, he's been, been locked, locked in, in for a while. And even you know, we, we you know we talking about an Asian American here. It's like culturally, that just shows to me how powerful our music, our music is. is. For sure, for sure. Period. Yep. It's not a black thing. It's just it, a. Thing. It's just a thing, yeah. and you know, we can we can, we can argue all day that twenty twenty going into twenty twenty three, we are pop music straight up. I don't mind saying that. You know what I mean? It, it don't get said much. But I can the way I navigate, I'm able to do that. I yeah. see who's on the BET awards and also on the VMAs. Hmm. You feel hmm. what I'm saying? For sure. I see who's on TV One, but also on the American Music Awards. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's not no that's not no coincidence mm-hmm. that Chloe Bailey can navigate through black music honors and also go do VMAs. You know what I'm saying? That Normani can come from television and be on VMAs, AMAs. That Beyonce, you know what I mean, can go do Dream Girls, but then do the BET Awards, but then she just did the Oscars. We are pop music. They they chase us straight up. I'm, sure. I'm, 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 you know, it is what it is. We say it all the time. Popular music. Popular yeah. music. Yeah, That's all pop sure. is. Yeah, whatever is the most popular. Yeah, wherever the, yeah, wherever the sure. sauce is. Yeah, you know, I um shout out to our brother, you know, Takeoff man, but like you know, like Migos is essentially uh the biggest pop group of the decade. Change the sound. Period. Change the sound. I don't care 100%. where they from. I don't care what they look like. My favorite group. It just is what it's it is. Guys. Yeah. So it's like. You know, I look at things like that. I look at what Dirk is doing. I look at what Baby's doing. It's like, how can you deny it? You can't. Yeah, you can't deny it. it's yeah. global. Yeah, global. You also global. tell my guy when I saw you with uh, uh, be more Brian Fraser Moore. Oh man, like, goat I work. Like, I call goat it. work. Goat work. That's who played with me last night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was there last Are night. You, <sighs> getting busy. Yes. You know, you know, getting you know, we busy. go. That's, goat. Getting busy. That's my '97 partner. Listen, we both. I laugh at both of y'all when you say, I'll do anything, <laughs> anything you want, that's, that's my word is wrong. <laughs> I, I, bro, listen. I laugh at, but y'all, did y'all both have y'all shirts off? No, I had my shirt off. <laughs> he had his shirt off. Because you know, we we nicknamed him the Tasmanian Devil. Taz, So there we were calling him Taz, yeah, right? Yeah, dog. And... What's that's cr- when he had the stuff, the stuff, the stuff and, and what's crazy wait, wait, what? is that. A, a, so you know, you remember that? You remember that? You know, you go to Disney World and get the stuffed animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put a stuffed put a, Tasmanian yeah, put a stuff in the thing. front of his drum kit. Yeah. What? He was yeah. he was going that crazy. Y'all was bugging Arms was yo. everywhere. Y'all was bugging. We was like, you like the Tasmanian Devil? You are. Cr-. So it was like, but it was crazy though. He's so he's so dope. The concept of what Tim was doing, mm-hmm. he didn't have that coming into rehearsal. Wow. So I think him and Johnny Croom kind of collaborated on what, what it should is. feel and yeah, yeah, sound yeah. like. Yeah. And then he just went Did somewhere different. Added the sauce. Genuine will be looking back at him like, Ooh. what is going on? <laughs> and I'm a drummer too, so I'm looking back at him like, y'all never be able to no, do that. No, you can't do that. I was like, you can't do that. That, helps, do that. that helps you pick your lane oh, immediately. Easily. I sing backgrounds. <laughs> I play a little bit of the keys. I'm going to play bass and I'm going to cool. Like, I play drums at church with my dad, but I don't play like yeah, that. No. Nah, yeah, bro. He one of them ones. Oh, and, and, sure. he, and, and again, you know, Philly Philly native. Yeah, yeah. Um, coming from church. And not to even run his background down, but like when you see him migrate to Atlanta and, and do Genuine and Aaliyah, but then get the call for Janet and Madonna, right? 
it's kind of like twofold where the foundation has been laid because of this soul music that he's played through church and through mm-hmm, R&B. Mm-hmm. It allows you to play, come on, Vogue. Mm, 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 let your body do, mm, do, 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 do. He, mm. he, he playing that thing like he out with but it's a, a lick. But it's, it's a like, different control. It's a different control, man. That you it's have a different to have thing. So he's able to, to have in, those things and live yeah. and live in it and you, be authentic. I, I was about to say that because as a musician, yeah. when you get into that world, you have to really be of that world. Yes. Certain chords don't go in that world. They don't, Certain passing chords don't th- go. They don't, they don't, they don't go. go. No, that sound Certain don't go. Certain feels don't go. Every piano ain't the same in pop music. Yeah, Babyface is not so using. Are you reprogramming yourself as you go into these things? Actually, or are you just bringing what you bring? It depends on who it is. For me, I'm adding programming. When okay. I got the Janet Jackson gig, I thought I was Terry Lewis. Hmm. Like literally for like four months, yeah. I listened to everything that they have done because I wanted to know how he approached Nasty coming from Purple Rain. The why and more not the how, the but the yeah. why. I wanted yeah. to know why he did that. Then I studied her bands before me, so like Sam Sims, bass player, Ethan Farmer, bass player. I'm like, what worked for her on these gigs? And a lot of kid, younger guys. Don't do that because no gig is promised to us. For sure. Ain't none of these gigs mine. Mm-hmm. I would never say that. I've never said that and won't say it because the artist has the right to wake up any moment of the day and say, I want to go in another direction. Right. It could be with a different band. It could be, you know, Ye woke up and said, hey, I'm just going to do DJ shows from now. I you can't be mad at that. Like You are the artist and you have your own vision. So... I'm, I like to see what works, and I study bands before some of these artists um, that that were with some of these artists before, and so I really live in that moment and add that layer to my playing or mm-hmm. to my apti- my musical aptitude because there's a reason why it works. Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. And so. there's a comfort level in some of those earlier arrangements that <laughs> yeah. you find or, and the tones. Can, yeah. That they live it's in. It's like, great. if you yeah. know Janet's not doing a whole song, she's never doing three verses. She's mm-hmm. never doing... So it's like, how did that one verse, one hook work yeah. enough for you not to miss the rest of the song? We should keep that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the t- yeah. that's the tough thing with the live performance, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> About how much do you give? Especially for yeah. artists that have... Catalog, crazy. Super catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, how much do you give? Yeah. And how do you get out of there... With them feeling still fulfilled, the the audience feeling fulfilled. It's just like going to a it's club a constant and the DJ is yeah. he's getting out Cutting. of that record fast. Yeah, but you're like, shit, but that was my you, joint. Didn't, you didn't get to the bar with. Yeah, but then they give knowing. you something else and you're like, ah. Yeah, knowing what good. that is, it's a constant process. When man. I see the, when I went to the when I went to the to the Justin show, it felt like he was doing whole songs. Yeah, it, it, mm. it, it felt like he was doing at least two verses and two hooks. Some of those he was doing two verses for sure, but like I, I would also make sure how I planned the set list was keys and tempos kind of intertwined with it. Mm-hmm. So even though it might be two verses, we might feed right into the next joint. Yeah, gotcha. For sure. When I'm for doing sure. when I'm sure. doing something like Super Bowl with Dre mm-hmm. and I and they say <laughs> you got hold on hold on hold on hold on yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Shout hold on. to the. You know what? I can't cuss before I say this. Shout out to the Emmy. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the Emmy Award Emmy winning. Emmy Award winning. I'm about to say the motherfucking Emmy. Yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, Shout man. out to my player partner, man. Listen, you know what I mean? 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 You remember Adam, right? Listen, you know Adam got an Emmy yeah. and shit now, man. Listen, I, I'm going I'm to I'm be honest with you, man. Like, I. I this sounds. Andre so, is tough. So tough. Dre is Dre. So tough. Dre is Dre. But that was one of the more simple processes, again, because he knew what he wanted. Gotcha. It was my job to execute his vision. Yeah. I'm going to drop a, a gem on some young MD out there. It is not your vision. It's the artist's vision. Yeah. Execute that. Bring that to fruition. And you're going to work a long, long time. time. If they not cool with your breaks and they not cool with your chords, it's okay. It's we're we're hired to enhance them, that artist. So for me, I was always going to do great work for Super Bowl because mm-hmm. I was hired to do a job. The Emmy, stepping to that real quick, 
validates that other people also agreed that the that work was did, good. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't going to do no less great work. I was going to do the best that I always, I personally always could. Winning or losing, it was always going to be my best. Mm -hmm. The Emmy just validates that other people thought it was great too. And I, I, I'm very appreciative of that. But crazy. when the Super Bowl gives you 13 minutes and 30 seconds, that's just it. I don't, we don't care if you do one song or 17. Like, this is what you have. <laughs> Shit. Catalog matters. Tempo matters. That's all you Keys have. matter. 13.30, bro. That's it. That's, it be feeling like because it's if, so much yeah. longer, but it's not. 13.30, You put on a you, full show in 13 not, minutes cause, cause and everybody 30 saw, Everybody, when we was watching, uh, some people watched uh, Soul Train Awards the other day, they was like, why they give Shantae like 15 minutes? I said, yeah. she didn't have 15 minutes. No, no, no. I was like, no, she no. might have had... Five and some change. She was just cooking. Yeah, six. yeah she was cooking. She was, we cooking. Was she was just cooking. Yeah, we yeah. was moving. Um, but yeah, man. They, and so, if you think about it, like Super Bowl, I didn't do no songs from Chronic. Mm -hmm. Arguably, Dre's mm -hmm. yeah. best body of work. Mm -hmm. Arguably, but I knew the the feeling that I wanted to convey, and those songs didn't have that feeling to me. Mm -hmm. Dre agreed. We set we settled on what it was. And then we went next episode. California Love, straight to fifth, back up to the same tempo, up to Mary. Sound like he might have did that track the same day. Same day, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then being a Mary fan, I said, "What's the moment that she can give these women?" You know what I mean? Because she was the woman representer mm -hmm. for us. So we went a little bit of no more drama. From the drama, I wanted to create more drama and go, if Pyrus and Crips all oh, got along, he probably threw me down by the end. Of, so we went to Kendrick. And then the nod that I wanted to do was from Kendrick throwing it back to Eminem mm -hmm. to say, this is how it intertwines for Dre to be the curator of it all. Of it all. You know, Dre didn't even produce that Kendrick record, uh, We Gonna Be All Right. But it was like, it was the fact that he was the catalyst to put that platform there for that mm -hmm. young man. Uh, and then, you know, I said, We Gonna Be All Right. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk. Like they got something to say. We Gonna Be All Right. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk. Come on, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, it, it, it gotta move like that. And then, you know, go to Lose Yourself with him and then still Dre. And then you know, you know, yeah, was fifty in there hanging upside down. Like, fifty was in there hanging, hanging up. He was hanging. Down. G G unit undie shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he he brought the he brought yeah. the spaghetti strap back. Yeah, yeah. No, he was like he had the shirt off, didn't he? No, no, he had the joint he had the joint on. He brought back the G unit joint. G unit headband, all that. It was Yo, good. They made a full meme out of film. They did. They made a full meme out of film. That was a great moment, bro. Yeah, man. It's, you know, like that I said, that you got to know your audience too. You know what I mean? As a musical director, it's like, you know, I hate to say it, but we are not the NFL consumer. Mm -hmm. You no. know what I'm saying? No, we've, we've been 60, to a Super Bowl before. We, we, yeah, we've seen yeah, yeah. It. Just in general, yeah. it's yeah. like, you know, 60 year old Caucasian men kind of keep that, keep that um, business going. Mm -hmm. So, how can I? feed them but also feed us yeah. as a culture you yeah know what i mean it's a it's it's tough working in corporate you know what i'm saying it's tough it's tough i Jeez. try to find a good balance because i'm a music fan first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i also you know want to keep my job so. you figured it out <laughs> and you got the hardware too i got the hardware with Shit. it now. so we you know it's, so moving it's into your own happen. thing yeah man yeah, let's, make, let, let's talk about legacy yeah. man. i um lost some people <clears throat> through COVID. Mm -hmm. um Lost a cousin. Uh, one of my great friends lost his mother. And then we lost an incredible brother of ours, um, Paris Bowen, incredible keyboard player. He actually played on Cry Me River and a bunch of other things. Played with Israel Hall and Ty Trivet, Floetry, so, so many things. And um, went to his service, man, if I can be completely honest. And I was like, I don't want to die with a laptop full of ideas. Mm. I don't mm. want to do it. My cousin here, he know we've been talking, we've been, we have been talking about me doing a project for a while. And I didn't know what that looked like. I didn't know it was me doing the beats. I didn't know if that was me trying to do, you know, solo bass stuff or whatever. And that's not really my thing. But um, I wanted to leave something for my children. Because our days are numbered on earth. And I ain't even trying to be deep. But yeah. it's just like, 
That's I don't, I, I, you know, with all that I've done for the music industry, I didn't want to walk into, I didn't walk into, I didn't want people to come to some sort of service from me and it's like just 2020 experience. I'm very proud of that though. I didn't want it to be just Janet Jackson Essence Festival. I, I'm very proud of that. I didn't want it to be Jay-Z. Like, what do I have to pass on to <clears throat> my children? Mm -hmm. I buckled down about 60 days and started to curate this legacy album. And by the end of it, I was like, oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if you go through that process. Y'all could tell me, like, you know, I'm getting my ideas out and some of them are not good. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then when you look at the body of work at the end, I was like, you know, this is He's good. Going, I'm very proud of it. Very proud of it. I had a bunch of ideas, you know. Kurt Franklin's on track one, praying over the yeah, album. Yeah, he kick it off. You know what I'm he saying? But off. like, you know, jazz record, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I go to Leslie Odom Jr. right after that, Fly Me, and then my son comes on and does mm -hmm. a song with Terrace Martin. Um, and so it was, it was really me curating, which is what I've done, and I didn't even think about it like that until the end. I was like, this is what I do for all this artists. This is what you do. This is what, this is what I do. Doing. So I did yeah. it, you did it for, for yourself. For myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm very proud of it, man. We went number one two weeks ago on Billboard, yeah. Contemporary yeah. Jazz. Yeah. Um, we went number one on Apple Music this past week as well. And um, it's it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Artist bag is different. Yeah. I would rather be told where to be. And uh, get my per diem. <laughs> oh yeah, and have my yeah. wardrobe provided. Speak, hey, speak on it. You speak know, on it. speak and, on it. And get you know, hop on the bus that somebody else provided. <laughs> and, Come on, came out Come of on. date, but yeah. <laughs> and so, so did you do this project independently? I did a partnership with Empire. Okay, uh, our brother Gazi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and Tina Davis, and 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 I partnered with also AMG Anderson Music Group, who is an incredible. Um, Jonathan Anderson is an incredible, just brilliant music mind. So mm -hmm. we did a three a three way partnership, and um, again relationship equity. I have been helping Tina Davis out for years, and um, sh I told her my vision. Mm -hmm. Empire has been known to do some very avant-garde stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Last year, they got a couple Grammy nominations for their instrumental and Robert Glasper, Terrence Martin, yeah. and all yeah. that. And so she was like, yo, call me call me tomorrow, <clears throat> she said. And I think she hit me, actually, and was like, yo, let me hear about what you're trying to do. I said, well, I got two songs, but I'm working on 14 more <laughs> or 12 more. She was like, hit me when it's done. We're going to see the process. Boom, boom, boom. Empire came on through. Here we are, Grammy nominated. Congratulations, um, brother! So excited, man! Wow. Like, first out, Grammy nominated. First out, baby! First out, best traditional R and B with myself and Jasmine Sullivan for around midnight. So I'm excited, super excited, right. and I got so much love and respect for the people in that category: Babyface, LMA, yeah. B, yeah, yeah. Mary, Snow Allegra. Uh, yeah, Adam Blackstone and myself. Blackstone. Yeah. So just to well, see my like, name up there, on, it's, a, it's a blessing. I'm thankful. Absolutely. I'm thankful. Congratulations For on sure. that. Y'all so, gonna be a part of Legacy too? Easy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm upset. Y'all remember part this of, now? I'm upset. I'm not part of Legacy one. Oh, but that's not. On. That's not even a. <laughs> you pick and choose when to text. It's not. It's not <laughs> even, I, I, listen, I pull my phone out. <laughs> nah. Pull my phone. Let me, Come on, I can go to the text chain. I love. I love going to the text chain. I love you. Shit. Um. When you when you say that in terms of it being like a different a different it's movement, a beast it's a different movement when it's, it's a when different it's beast yo when it's yours it's a different beast musicians don't think about the taxing um, the toll mm -hmm. that budgets take on people mm -hmm. I was one of those people I'm gonna speak for myself mm -hmm. I'm like yo you know no name said but like we arguing over a thousand dollars like come on yo but when you times that by 37 people that's a lot of money mm -hmm. so i got a whole new respect for somebody that talked me down 250 <laughs> because it's like you know what i'm saying because that it was probably it's probably me on the phone oh man <laughs> well, Adam, I'll, 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 I'll do now listen no, let joking. me be clear <laughs> we're not negotiating in 2023 yeah. but i mean back in the day <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the rates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh. want me or you don't. Yeah. But <laughs> no, but real talk, man, I'm being honest. Like, you know, even if Vent Jay came and blessed us with his presence. Um, you know, I'm looking at what the room 
needs, the ambiance, all of everything. that comes from me. The flyer you. that's on the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You print out uh, 1,500 of those at $10. Yeah. You know, $10 yeah. for 10 of them is whatever. Right. right. But then it's yeah. but then it's 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 so much more that you have to be in front of now because you could just be chilling at the hotel yeah until wait, waiting on your lobby call time yeah, there ain't none of that go chill in your dressing room that's right until and, the show until ten minutes before show time no 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 we got everybody got me people need people want to talk to you they want to talk to me they want answers they want answers they want interviews yep all of that I, and I'm th- that. I'm thankful for it all and even the style of music I'm doing because it's heavy jazz infused mm-hmm. making sure the charts are cool making sure my trumpet player has the right chart for this song da 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 da, da. Um, and then if we're doing guests that night, not only is that my set a legacy, but I got to go play for Tank and right. I got to go play for Jay. Right. And I got, so right. how we got that together, you so know, you're still accommodating. I'm very much accommodating, but it's for my own for thing. So it's a different level of, um, grace that I try to have to have on myself <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> when but the capacity is so much more it's, it's so yeah. much more and you have to and you have to decide what you want your brand to yeah, look like and to feel be. like mm-hmm. yeah. and to be which is only excellent yeah. I'm not operating in nothing else right. which so is they, why they, I put which that pressure which takes a real toll it takes a huge toll on myself huge toll yeah. if but you I, were just knocking them out yeah. it wouldn't matter but nope. the caring is caring a, weighs on you caring yeah. is a gift and a curse yes sir it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. Let me tell you specifically why. You're only as good as your last thing. Mm-hmm. So if I smash Soul Train Awards, right, the next gig, no matter if it's on TV or not, you have a standard that yeah. not only for yourself, but other people are holding you up for. And so I always want to meet and or exceed those expectations mm-hmm. um and even working with other artists i can't front the last thing i did from you when we now we got to do another one i'm like it gotta be it's gotta be better crazy. like you know what i'm saying we're not we're not taking those steps backwards right. they already know what they we already do. know the potential they, yes. of what it could be yeah, yeah that takes a toll on me bro i ain't gonna hold you so it's like you know expanding my um um circle of people who i trust and mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. arrangers and and copyists and, and and producers and stuff like that so like we all collaboratively bring these ideas together has been a huge asset for me um on the md side now for my own stuff we got to make the decisions mm-hmm. i got to i trust the people around me to execute it but i still have to make the decision it's, first it's the origination mm. This, it's Which is why the Grammy nomination for me means so much, man. Mm-hmm, and not mm-hmm. not to discredit the Emmy, not to discredit working for the Oscars, but I was always going to do great work mm-hmm. for the Super Bowl. I was hired to do that. I'm so blessed that the people who voted in the Academy thought it was also great. When you have a brainchild in your head of yes. music yeah. and these chords and this lyric yeah. and this idea and this transition... People don't have to like that. At all. It doesn't have to be impactful even, right? Very good so word. when it impacts, specifically in a Grammy way, I know some people, you know, they look down on certain awards and stuff like that or the the conglomerate that, you know, is the awards. But, like, it feels really good to be recognized for a, an idea that you ingest it and spit out to the world. Yeah. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I mean, it's from... from just doing the work in itself and being appreciated yeah on any level and and Erica just even Badu, somebody her, her, up to her you. line keep in mind I'm an artist and I'm sensitive yeah, about my ish should, like yeah. that I don't think I knew what that really meant until, until you did it. somebody <laughs> was like uh, that's not really my drink bro I don't like that and I've been that's thinking cool. that's like, my favorite song on my album <laughs> right, 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 right. so I'm sensitive yeah, about my yeah, stuff right. I may not be as sensitive about your stuff when you say change this change that no problem because it's yours it's yours and you telling me to do a job and you paying me so yeah. it's like no problem let's change th- those bars I'm cool and, you, and your music is a family affair for sure you know what i mean like for i just sure. learned yeah about your wife writing records yeah mm-hmm. man she's an incredible songwriter incredible like i knew she's artist. part of business with you yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. oh yeah she is the business she she run that thing for sure but I'm not, um I'm not yeah my wife huh run my business no yeah no well she do be writing songs though she write a little bit 
Don't you discredit Z she right now. I'm not letting you do that. <laughs> she write a little bit. She get published. No, no, but you listen. But Z is like you give you published. you give her little control. Yeah, she gonna oh, take it. Oh my god. Oh, but she, listen, I gotta she, be honest and say, you know, you have been in the game for so long, Tank, that you your team. I, when when I started, it was just me and her. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's who I trust. Yeah, yeah everybody sure, that's sure. on my yeah. staff is blood. Yeah, like real talk. And I don't know. I might gotta let some of that go. I'm sorry. Like not not the people, but like to branch out and you know hire firms and stuff like that. But like I trust who I trust. No, you so listen, listen, listen. With that, this, this is what you I do. Trust. This is what you do. It it starts in here, bro. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Right, and because it. It all goes back to maybe maybe the safety of a thing or the protection of a thing, right? Safety for and sure. And so, like, I'm comfortable with who I'm comfortable with. Period. I love who I love. Mm-hmm. Me and this guy have walked away from buildings. Yeah. I said I'm gonna roll with him. Yeah. I'm gonna roll with my guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. If I need something, I call my guys. Period. And there's cool. a different type of not only safety there. But they know your heart too. For sure. So if sure. this don't seem like something Adam would do, we not doing it. If this don't seem like you can like have the, a different kind of conversation. You can have people, no conversation with people that you, you be like in, in trenches with, like, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you on that bullshit? Yeah. Come on, you like, know what? You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Let me, that. Let me get my shit together. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 get him out of there. Get, get him out of there. Don't start with me, Jay. There's a hand on that hand. Don't do that. Listen, you know. Listen, yeah, but. It's, it's a it's an unspoken it's, calmness it is, that, that happens it's between a, the, the, a, the layers of conversation with people that you trust. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and people so, that you yeah. deem to be family. Yeah. Family. Even if it's if it's if it's blood or, or blood couldn't make you close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you gotta you gotta find people in your business, first your life, absolutely, but mm-hmm. even in your business that you have those type of relationships with. And man. what I'm what I'm learning as being the artist, what I'm learning as being the artist is that you can quarrel. And it's still love there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because those are your guys, yes. and they know your heart. Right, when you say, can't do that he, with he it. Sent me Disney music. I still did it. <laughs> you bug it, and it turned out amazing. It listen, did. We <laughs> did. Listen, we fought <laughs> like cats and dogs over being barefoot. <laughs> we fought. <laughs> So you selfish. You've been the same selfish motherfucker since we was kids. Take your shoes off. It works. He, he said, It worked. I'm, I'm wearing shoes, nigga. And that's all it's gonna there be. It is. That's nigga. all it's gonna be. Come, come take my shoes off then, punk. If you want my shoes. If you want my shoes, if, take if my, shoes. my shoes. That's on niggas, that's on five heartbeats. Wait, and then both of you niggas, I get there and you're like, yeah. You gonna have to wear these things too. I'm like, he's like, what are these? Yeah, he's like, what are these? You know, I had never worn them. I know. That's why I walked up on you like that. <laughs> like, he was man. like, I can't hear myself. I was like, that's because you ain't got no speakers in your ear. <laughs> he didn't know what was. That's okay, that, bro. We got him right. We got him right. <laughs> he still didn't know what was going on. We walked off the stage and he was like, I said, yes. Yeah, that's nigga. What they happened. screamed. He said, nigga, they screamed. He was looking at me and he was like. I said, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We did it that. Happened, we nigga. did that. It went down. It went hard. He said, it went so fast. I said, that's how it happens. That's how you know you're in the zone. Oh, yeah. shit. We out, and we out. Let's go sit in our seat. And we out. Let's you go. You know what else threw me off? When you said generics. Okay. In my mind, Anything generic is not is good. bullshit. No, no, no. So yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, they, they threw me. And the, a, and they well, threw that's me, a different level of comfort. They threw me the team Jordans. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> yeah, these niggas made me. Team Jordan. These two niggas made me hooping Team Jordan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, foot action. Shout he, out foot he action. Was, <laughs> You, you won't be in Team George no more, my brother. I'm getting molds. We got your molds <laughs> done. Your molds. We got your molds yeah, done, yeah, yeah. baby. Oh man, that's oh, crazy. Nah, I appreciate y'all though. No, man. listen, man. There's a different. Sure. There's a different level of comfort. Yeah. You trusted me to even do that for you. Yeah, yeah. you feel yeah. what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Because you know I'm. I care about the music. Yeah. At the end of the day, 100%. that's really what it's about. Yeah. Like I don't. 100%. I want. And one of my first super churchy phrase, but one of my first ministries is to see other people win. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And like that has sustained me because I, I have no stake in the game. It's just like, yo, you winning, I'm winning. We good. I don't mind giving credit to somebody who's done an arrangement to any, like, because I get blamed for it anyway as the MD. If it's, <laughs> yeah. it's right, yeah. it's great. If it's yeah. wrong, no, it's really you. my Listen, fault. Listen, if oh, I would have looked on, on the internet and they'd have been clowning me, I'd have been like, it's because yeah, it's yeah, I'm black. Saying, I yeah. told him yeah. we're generic. But I'm like, and hey, tank yeah. wouldn't let me put no shoes on. <laughs> 
I almost <laughs> slipped. They ain't, they ain't clowning you though, bro. Y'all was uh, in there. Y'all they was love in there. a player. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's been great. It's up. That journey is great. I say that, it's yeah, up. That journey is great. They we won't up. let me go nowhere with Donna. Where did Valentine at? Yeah, though? yeah, yeah. I don't know. They looking for him. He won't come outside. <laughs> they looking for him. Hurt knee and all. Hey, hey listen. Somebody said. So who is going to tell me the podcast nigga to sing? I said, oh, it's really up now. Oh, I'm no. I'm the podcast nigga now. This is great. This well, yo, that, okay, now listen. nothing else. Shout out to R&B Money because y'all changing the game now. Come yeah. on now. Y'all changing yeah. the game. Talking Thank about you, some bro. things that Thank you. our culture ain't get to experience yet and hear. The, the important nuances yes. of, of what it is yeah. that we're a part of. Period. Like those lessons... Are so necessary. So necessary, bro. Because y'all teaching. You gotta, you gotta teach. You teaching, man. You, you know teaching. what I mean. And especially in this world where everything is an option. Yeah. Ooh. We gotta, That's... we gotta teach people how to navigate. Preaching that. How to navigate those options. Yeah. Because somebody's mm-hmm. going through what you may have already gone percent. through. Yeah. And those, and those, listen. And those troubles are not any different. N- ain't nothing new. They're the same troubles. That's right. You know what I mean? It's just it's just added accessories around it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the same trouble. It's the yeah. same verbiage in yep. that contract yep. that you're trying to get For eliminated sure. or or more in your favor or take a chance on this so you can get more on this. Like it's all the, it's same, all the same thing. The but same. nobody's having the conversation. Nobody's teaching. Yeah. When the label signs the artist, they're not sending them through music education. Mm. They're not sending their managers to They want to a the play. song. They just want the song. That's it. it. And so That's somebody... It. That is We it. talked about last night too, mm. like, you know, artist development no more, like all of that kind of stuff because it's like as incredible as it is for, you know, the youth to make music at their homes and just have a platform to put it out and go crazy. Mm-hmm. They don't know you get the bread from the show. So then it's like, where's the artist development to actually get on that stage How and figure last? it out? How do you laugh? How, How do you, you laugh? <clears throat> yeah, we we need a segment on that. And we can we we, we might have to do it. We might have to do a ten a have to ten do part two. Yeah, part but two not even just us. I'm saying this. there's everybody lasts different. Yeah. And and longevity to you is different from me, that's different to you. But it's ultimately so, right, right? The 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 connection is people. That's right? it. it. That's the that's the that's longevity. It. Yeah. How you connect to people and how you hold on to them. For sure. And people will then believe what you believe. If you believe if you in truly that song, believe it. if you truly believe it, they will believe. They how will many too. times we done heard what we deem a terrible song, but then the seventh listen. They're like, it's this, this, tenth, is, this is this is all right. Tell you something. I've been there. Come on now. I've been yeah. there. Come on One now. One of my favorite artists, he was Sharp, flat, all over the place. <laughs> Couldn't stand him. Yeah, and I think I did, really didn't like him because my girl liked him. You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> he's, he's so good. I was like, he's so flat. Yeah, <laughs> he's so flat. You heard this song how many times? It wasn't this. It, it was one particular song that yeah. dropped, and and it came out, and I was like, it's got a little something on it. Yeah. yeah. Tenth time, about the fourth time like, I yeah. heard that song. I said, "Oh God, yeah, I, he's I the hate best. that I love it. <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, there it is. I gotta get touch him. I gotta, I gotta go I, back and re-listen. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's, it's how it um, goes. That's how it goes. Come on, let's get into the mind. Yeah, yeah. I want to get, get into it. your come mind. On, let's do it. Let's do it. You've you've been you've been doing music on a high level. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Top five. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Top five. Okay. We want to know your top five. What top five you your want? Top five. Top five R&B artists. Yeah. R&B artists. artists. And then uh, R&B songs. Yeah. R&B songs. Oh, your top five. <laughs> I'm not singing with y'all. Y'all play. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we top go. Top five. Hold on. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> introing this shit. I want to know. He's still in the worship. Everybody, I wave your, know, wave your. I know. If you at home, wave your fives in the air. Oh, I wanna know. Yeah, your top five. Yeah, your top five. Your top five. Didn't I tell you about being too talented? That boy is too talented. He's too talented. Boy, too talented. <laughs> I want to know who was at home with their fire. <laughs> Spread fingers. <laughs> oh, Top five 
R and B artists oh, go of all time. Of all time. Of all time. Male or female. Male or female. Mix them together. Whatever you want to do. Jodeci. We're going to start there. We're going to start with the ooh. The yeah. problem is I'm nasty because I used to fall asleep to fiending in my ears. Oh, you did. When I, when I was a kid, it just, I, just, I just used to put the headphones on and it said, take my money. I was like, yeah. my yeah. house and my car. I was like, yo, this dude crazy, yo. It's wrong. I was, was like, disrespectful. for a hit of you? It was disrespectful. It was totally wrong. You can have it all. I'm so, and I'm sorry, mom, and dad, but I listened to that CD every night when I it's, fell asleep, so I woke up and I was like, that's the mindset this is, in. yeah, this is crazy. Wow. Then I was an album credit reader and I'm like, Timothy Mosley, like, who is this guy? And just, you know, mm -hmm. the rest is history. The rest is history. Jodeci. <sighs> Stevie Wonder. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here's where it gets a little tricky for me because, um, you know, I'm a fan of so much music. And so I have to be honest and say, you know, Usher. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's nothing wrong Confessions with that. changed my, you know, was just crazy. And even BFM on Usher Live, which was early, early Usher. Um, and then number one for me, you know, arguably is Brandy. Woo. Yeah. Oh, you put you said number one too. You because we didn't tell you. To you didn't do no order. We didn't yeah, tell you order. It wasn't no order, but number I one, number to, I number to one, that Brandy is, album. Number, I would take that album. if I was locked on a desert, it would yeah. be Full Moon for me. Easy, easy wow. album. I can top to bottom every song. Stranded, stranded, Full Moon, easy. I'm with you. I love yeah. it. I love it. Rest, you know. I'm with you. Everybody got their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Ain't no argument here, brother. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, you know, we'll honorable mention, I got to put Mary in there just because, she, you know, of what she meant to the culture. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? And like, you know, singing right, wrong. You know, Puff putting samples in there that I hadn't heard before. And then like, you know, you know. Yeah. So that that's it for me. Okay. I got a lot of people left out, though. Right. No, no, no. Don't worry about, about that. A lot, yeah. lot left They'll out. be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Top five R and B songs. You already said Fina, so I think you're gonna go there. Yeah, Fina for Fina for sure because it's so wrong. It's so it's, it's so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's the church in y'all that think yeah. it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong at all. No, I don't think it's so wrong. wrong. It's, 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 wrong. it's wrong. all everything is right to me in that. Yeah. It's like quartet <laughs> guitar. It with is. like. It is. It's so much church. It's so and much church and, and, and nasty. And they shouldn't be singing that yeah, to that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I give you. I give you. I give you. But, but like, cry for you. Like, and, and you know, just Joe, just Joe to see. But Fiendin for sure. Top five songs. Top five songs. Yeah, your top five songs. Um, my. My songs is weird. It's fine. Man, it's yours. <laughs> you do so much, yeah, though. Yeah, my songs is weird, and, though. And it's this like, is about discovery. Yeah. So if they don't know those songs, we yeah. don't know those songs. Yeah. My we songs gonna go is look weird. them things up. Yeah. Um, what About Us, Brandy. Okay, we know yeah. that record. You know, yeah. It's a great record. Mm -hmm. You know, Rodney Jerkins, to me, is like one of the all-time greats. Yep. Prodigy. Yeah, yeah man. Um, Okay, and my list changes daily, so we could talk every day. I'm gonna text y'all yeah, now. Y'all, okay. y'all bugged out because I'm gonna text y'all every day with a new list, mm, okay. right? So whatever. Today, superstar Usher. Mm, yeah. I'll be your guru. Oh, come on, you had you had to sing. Yeah, you, know. you know, yeah. Um, um, fantasy, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, let's get back to Verdine. Mm. Let's get back to Verdine. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Get back to Verdi. So, <laughs> Take it and uh, that's four. And then, um, <laughs> today, take you down, Chris Brown. Wow. Today. It's a great record. Oh, it's an amazing record. It's a great yeah, record. Today. It's an amazing record live, though, too. Yeah. Just that's yeah. today. Yeah. You know? 
That's got a wrong thing on it too, you know? Like a Jodeci, yeah. Changes, yeah. Yeah, so that's 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 but, but Damon is a wrong kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. he makes music. Yeah, yeah. He that's makes underdog? music. Yeah. 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 Take it out is very Damon, Damon makes Thomas music too. out yeah. of order. Yeah. I used to be sitting next to Damon like that chord don't go behind that chord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said, trust me, it do. When I first got he said, yes, it does. And Eric Dawkins would come in and write on it yeah. and make, and make the it wrong right. chord make sense. Make it right. Yeah. This. Absolutely. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 you guys yeah. are good. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I want in. All right, so that, they're your top <laughs> yeah. five songs. Yeah, and like, you know, honorable mention, definitely uh, you keep some, trying to, Summer you, Rain. You keep going. You know Just what? You know so much music, I can't get in the way of yeah, 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 yeah. going in But six. if you realize, like, you know, a lot of my favorites aren't just the stuff that I play because like I was influenced by those songs. Records, yeah. exactly. So like, you know, no, listen, some, listening to Joe to see help me. Rain is one of the so cool. greatest feel the good, coolest cool. songs yeah. of all time. All time. Yeah, for sure. All time. All time. It puts you in the mood when that record comes Here's out. Here's what's crazy though. The What About Us record. Yeah, so wrong. Brandy record. I was, I was there when, when? when Rodney was figuring out the technology of the to make quantized. that record. Yeah, man. I don't like, he's, like, he's like, listen to this. He was I was doing records with him. He, okay. They were producing records on me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, listen, to, I was like, I was like, what is that? Yeah. And he's why? Like, he's like, something different. I'm telling you why this is and he was like, and then snares are gonna be kicks. And I was like, what are you talking about? Everything he said happened. Everything. That song like the, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. what is what is that? He made a movie, a audio movie. Mm -hmm. Because Bran, unfortunately, didn't even go tour that record. You know what I'm saying? And I, I was like a concert-going mm -hmm. person. He let us, how we talked about seeing it. Yes. He made us see it by hitting play. Hmm. It was different. It's a lot of people that don't do that no more. Bruno Mars, do he do that. Yeah. Today, you see it. Yeah, you, you see, see it. it. And Off then the he rip. got the, you know, he got the visual now with it too. Mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake, I feel like you see it. Usher, I think you see it. Mm -hmm. I think when I listen to a sex record with Tank, it's like you, you see it. You want to be in the zone. Mm -hmm. But that's before you ha like. We didn't see that with Brand. You know what I'm saying? Like live on stage is what I mean. Yeah. So different. You're not, I'm not done with you. We're gonna put together R&B Voltron. Okay. Ooh. All right. So. We're the gonna best take of the pieces, best. the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Your world. We want to know who you are gonna get the vocals from, yep. the performance style from, mm -hmm. the styling from, and the passion of the artist. Who are you getting the vocals from? Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. One person. One person. Oh man. Mm -hmm. One vocal. One person? one person. The mic is on, as one, the kids say one, now. One person that's gonna have a mic on. <laughs> oh man, today Eric Dawkins. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, choice today. Do, do your research. Ooh. The Doc. I uh, got. I got to. He flawless, bro. One of my teachers. I I, didn't, so I, I haven't never heard him mess you don't up. Have to no. sell you know, me. Oh yeah. that. Let's go ahead to the next thing. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like just to open, you know, to open He's your a computer. Just to open your mouth and sing a song. The yeah. voice you said, right? Monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monster it's, it's, it's 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 nobody like him. No. It's nobody, nobody like him. It's nobody like him. Um He's anointed. Go. Performance style. Like them on stage. Whew. Um You know, I, it's like a tie. Like I love Tiana Taylor. I think she she's a very Tiana great cooks. performer. Cooks. I really do. I really do. Chris is just a whole alien. another <laughs> alien. Super Saiyan. They from that same wheelhouse. Same. He's yeah. a Super Saiyan. And, and um, but you know, Michael Jackson. You Birth can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's, it's, <laughs> okay. So it's like kind of you know. The My, father. We got to start with the yeah, father. Yeah, I'm going to go Michael Jackson, man. Performer. This thing like Eric Dawkins. That's Michael crazy. Jackson. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no one have a chance. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a terrible. wrap. No that's terrible. Um, 
I'm gonna just play keys and sing back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna manage. Um, styling. Put that shit on. Like physically, the drip, the, the drip. So this is weird for everybody, and I'm gonna say this, but I love the way Rick Ross dressed because I'm a big dude. <laughs> hey, Rick, listen, <laughs> fly nigga. listen, listen, hey, he's Ross super fly, nigga. fly that's bro. Why, that's why he no, gets it all. No, yeah. Ross a fly nigga. That's know, why he gets it I, all. People, sure. I feel like somebody gonna laugh at me Man, for saying that. Paul like, May Sanders was questionable, but that's about it. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, but that's about it. But he gonna try it. But he had shorts, but he had short ball mean above the knee as well with the slot. That's how. That's how. That's how they show how rich you are. Yeah. So. You know, the short. The short. Ah, listen, you know, I, niggas I, with them I've long ass shorts to your ankles. Yeah, yeah, they still. Uh, your pockets is, is heavy. Thousand years, yeah, check, yeah, check. Yeah, your yeah. pockets ain't right. New Ross is fly, bro. No, 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 Ross keep that shit. Ross up. is I, fly. Really, you know, I know that. You know. So you gonna you gonna dress uh you gonna dress him up as a big nigga? To, <laughs> yeah, no, it's me. You said me. That's that. This is my transformation. Right? Hold I got on, a budget. Hold on. I got a voice budget. Hold on, hold on. I got a performance budget. budget. And I got a, I got a clothing budget. I got a voice budget, a performing budget, and a clothing budget. This is me. This is what I'm doing. I want I want the whole thing. You got it. It's yours. Right, here, we go. got it. here we go. Crazy. I know that sounds crazy. No, I sing like Eric Dawkins, dance like Michael, and dress and like, dress Rick like Ross. Ross. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Whatever. Who you I bet you if you go on 2K right now and make that singing, nigga, I bet you he'll be he will win. <laughs> You're my player. Hey, yo. We need an R&B 2K. Let's get it. Bad. You need to call EA Sports right Let's now. Let's get it. Right have a now. singing competition Build video. Singing. Let's get it. It's crazy. You All just right. said we it. I did. We own, own it. it. We, we own it now. It. Yeah. It's yeah. ours. Let's we do it. Do that. I'm telling you. I'm the, you, didn't, you just, we're doing it. You have a virtual microphone and then I can compete with you. Anybody else do it, we suing their ass. Done. We suing their ass. See that? We, we, we spoke on that's fire. This is copyright. All right. Yeah. Listen. That's that that's sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. And time stamped. And time yeah. stamped. <laughs> Put the thing on. Go in the concert, John. And build your concert body. Build your concert yeah. drip. Build. Ooh. Ooh. That's different. That's different. That's different. Let's get it. Metaverse holla at me, vibes. Zu- holla at me, Zuckerberg. Metaverse vibes. <laughs> um, okay. The passion of the artist. Who you getting heart from? Who gonna make you cry? I'll make you laugh. I'll make you stand. Jump up. up. I've never seen anybody more passionate than Puff Daddy. Wow. Period. Wow. He refuses to lose. Yeah. He refuses to lose. That's true. He he needs yeah. a shirt. And I respect yeah. his pee. He needs <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. And I respect his pee. What? He needs yeah. a shirt. He literally yeah. passionate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He needs a shirt that yeah. says "I refuse to, to lose. lose." Yeah, I've never seen. You I, just gave him a. He phrase. inspired. He inspired me. Uh, I did the Bad Boy reunion tour. Some of the best music I've ever listened to in the '90s that I was able to translate to my mm-hmm. instrument and play. Yeah. 2016, I seen him jump on tables. I seen him throw the set designs because it was. He was like, "Yo, I don't." This don't meet my standard. You know what I mean? He's one of those people as well that he's a designator. Mm-hmm. And if you if he feels like you are not doing your best, he's going to challenge that because yeah. he wants to be the best. I've seen him stay at rehearsal till 2, 3, 4 in the morning while we're tired. I'm like, yo, I, I can't be tired and he's still here. Right. It's, right. It's, it, that don't make he's sense to me. leading by yeah. example. He yeah. is a leader. Yeah. Straight up, there's nobody like him. People can question his tactics, but he brings the best out of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he is passionate about what he does, and he's passionate sometimes more than you mm-hmm. about what he wants you to do. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. I can't. You know, I can't. I can't get. Yeah, you know, we're going now. Yeah. Oh. So we got this segment. Why you Some put people your, call it a game. Why you put your sexy voice on, bro? Yeah, me, bro. yeah, yeah. Cause I went to I went to somebody's event and they put me under the motherfucking uh, right. air conditioner. So now I'm, I'm Come out on, here. Come on, man. You my, had a good time with, at with the Legacy. Barry White. Now I'm out here with my Barry White now. So it's called I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. <laughs> I ain't saying no name. Go to church with me. I ain't saying no name. Go to church. Go to church. I ain't saying no name. Oh, where you been? Uh-huh. Who's you with? Yeah. And what you did? 
did and what you had. I ain't saying no names. Don't say no names. Don't say no names. Don't say no names. That is dope. Listen, story funny or fucked up or funny and fucked up. Oh, man, I got so many, bro. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is Adam Blackstone's I Ain't Saying No Names. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where to go with it. Come yo. on, my brother. Come on. I Ain't Saying No Names. Mm-hmm. We at the... <laughs> I'm about to say... It. I almost... <laughs> Crazy. We at the VMAs, man. New record just came out with an incredible artist. And... um. She decides to uh, want to have a reptile on the stage with us, right? Hmm. The joint snake goes crazy, bro. Clears out the whole sound check. And I mean, it's just like <laughs> crazy. But they don't have a trainer on the stage? Trainer's off to the <laughs> side. Grabs a dancer. Bam! Right on the thing, right? Bro, when I tell you I was scared than a mug, dog, that was not funny. And the girl, uh, dancer, couldn't perform the next day at the VMAs. They had to get her blood tested, like all this stuff, bro. It 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 was crazy. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she got dancing. I hope, I hope no she back. Way. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and then you know the the the. I, I ain't see the snake no more. I just put. I don't know if they put him down. Or <laughs> I don't know if they put him down. <laughs> what you call it when you euthanize, euthanize. A, a reptile? Yeah, bro. Snake, bro. They they had to join out there for sound check. We we playing the song. I ain't gonna you know uh, nice reptile. I'm gonna just keep saying that. And um, that John, I think like a pyro went off or something. That John says. <laughs> Everybody was like, go, go. No yo, way. Crazy, bro. It was like a movie. It was a full. I am terrified. It was a full Jeez. movie. I'm, I'm yeah, cool. nah, we not I, with that. I, I we not. I would not. I wouldn't have played that gig. Yeah, we not we, with she that. She couldn't at after. She, yeah, no, nah, this dancer I wouldn't have stood in the back and played. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> we cleared that. We cleared that stage so fast. You would have thought. Uh, earthquake was happening i don't even oh know it was God. worse than that that's one of them ones I, you know uh, uh um wow i ain't saying no names yeah i ain't saying no names well, be on careful that with one. them snakes be careful with them snakes <laughs> i ain't saying no names get okay. them motherfucking snakes away yeah, man yeah, yeah. i ain't um, saying no names listen brother man um mr adam blackstone man we appreciate you I brother thank you for having you know me saying? bro like you, you are, already know you are. Um, Thank you for sharing a gift with yeah, us. Yeah, man, you are. You are Appreciate a high that. level guy, brother. Thank you, and man. I, and, and I don't just mean that just in musicality, man, but just as a brother, man. Since, Appreciate since you. day one, man. Yes, sir. You are absolutely, um, completely solid, man, and, and you do amazing work, man. So those two Thank hand you. in hand. You will not lose. I, I feel it, and I appreciate yeah. y'all always having my back. I know I can call y'all at any time, and you know we can shoot, shoot, shoot it up like this. And but also, you know, don't get it twisted. We get in that lab and, and create something yeah. crazy yeah. or hit that stage. And so, you know, um, being solid is is you know means something to me. Yes, so sir. you 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 all have that, and I I just appreciate being here. I appreciate y'all letting me plug legacy, and 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 also. You know, seeing the fathers that you all are, and, and and seeing you know the family men, that goes a long way for me because it's teaching us that it's it's a lot more than just this R and B music. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It comes back to that because that's yeah. what we love. Yes. Yeah. But like we do it for legacy, we do it for our families, and mm-hmm. and and even this just to have something to stand on. Um, this platform that y'all have is just incredible, man. So thank y'all for having man, me. Real man, talk. Wow. Appreciate you. Wow. Appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the R&B Money Podcast, the authority on all things R&B. Facts. I, I, I got to call this man the architect. <laughs> yeah. It is him right here. Yeah. And he is yeah. Mr. Adam Blackstone. <laughs> thank you for having me, Doc.